From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Erin Connolly. We are watching the state's COVID numbers. The infection rate is on the rise at 2.9%. This is the fourth straight day with a positivity rate above 2%. Since yesterday, more than 23,000 tests were done. 679 came back positive. Eight more people have died from the virus, and 233 people are currently in the hospital. A popular attraction in New Haven is closed after a team member tested positive for COVID-19. The IT Adventure Ropes course at Jordan's Furniture is now off limits until further notice. The company is working with the health department. Health officials say anyone who was there between October 14th and the 18th should get tested. A wrong-way driver who hit a state police cruiser on I-84 in Waterbury has been charged with driving under the influence. Sarah DeLeon was arrested late last night. The crash happened near exit 23 on 84 East. DeLeon was in the left lane just before the exit when troopers tried to stop her. The officer was hurt but will be okay. And utility customers had one last chance to speak out in a virtual hearing on Friday. This after widespread power outages from Tropical Storm Isaias. The Public Utilities Regulatory Authority, or Pura, is investigating Eversource and United Illuminating storm response. Pura is now working to make a decision about whether to take action that will affect our rates and service. All right, the weekend will start out mostly cloudy with some late day clearing Saturday. That's as a uh, cold front moves through. There could be a passing shower in some spots. It's going to be a mild day with a high of 68, but then turning sharply cooler Saturday night, a low of 36. And Sunday, sunny and cool, a high of 55. It looks like some clouds will roll in late in the day. And then it looks like several days of cloudy, wet weather uh, next week uh, with uh, on and off chances for rain. As we go through Monday and uh, Thursday, all the way through Friday, in fact, the daytime highs are going to be in the 50s, nighttime lows in the 40s, so it's not going to be nearly as warm as it was this week. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.